Hi everyone, Zach Breeding here, aka Mr. Cook It, and today we're going to talk about cutting an onion. There's a lot of different ways to cut an onion, and a lot of tears that can come from cutting an onion, either from cutting your fingers off or from your eyes. So, we want to make sure that we do it the right way. There's always the paper on the outside of the onion that you can just take off as much as you can. You don't want that to get all over your cutting board and get into your food. So, I like to hold the onion with the claw, as we mentioned before in my knife skills video, and cut off the tip. From there, you'll start peeling off a little bit of the onion. Now, if you're going to make onion rings, you want to peel the onion from here and start with the claw making your slices. Today, we're not going to do that because there's other things we can do with an onion. So from there, I like to hold it on the flat end to have more control, cut the onion in half, and use that to peel the onion. Now this is where tears can start coming in. People will tell you to freeze the onion, they'll tell you to refrigerate an onion, they'll tell you to eat a slice of bread when you're doing an onion. All of this makes absolutely no sense. If you're used to cutting onions, you still might cry. The, the thing is, if an onion is ripe and ready to go, it's going to make you cry a lot easier than an onion that's underripe. Because there's more juice, there's more aromatics. If you want to do half slices from here, you hold your claw against the onion and you start slicing. Easy. But we're not going to talk about that either because, again, that's easy. To make dices with an onion, people tell you to do one of these numbers, side to side to side. That's an easy way to cut your hand, so we're not going to do that. The onion already has that for you. The onion grows with those ridges already inside of it, so there's no point in cutting into the onion in that way. So, we're going to take the onion and we're going to cut down vertically using the claw, using equal sized portions. Don't forget about the end. That might mean that you slice a little bit diagonally, and that's okay because you're going towards the cutting board and not your hand. So you want to keep doing that, moving the knife along the onion, and keep going as straight down as you can in equal distances apart. Okay. From here, again, claw, and you go straight down, and you have dices. The faster you do this, the less tears you'll have, and the happier you'll be. And there you have dices of onion. We talk about onion rings, and we talk about julienne of onions. If you have other onion questions, feel free to go to the Ask section of www.thesage.org, and I hope this helps.